Hey guys, it's Dave. What's up? It's Corona cooking day two. And we're going to make uh, some bagels today. Classic Jewish food bagels. So I wonder if it's going to be really delicious because I'm Jewish and I made it. Or if it's going to be because the recipe is good or what. I'm going to try to make four. I'm supposed to have bread flour. I don't got bread flour. But, but I got that big pound, big bag. What is that? 10 pounds? 25 pounds. Wow. You see that right there? That's three-fourths cup warm water. About a teaspoon and a half of yeast and a little pinch of sugar to feed it. Whisk it up. Water's got to be between 110 and 120, okay? You don't want it to be too cold or too hot. Look at This is science happening before our eyes. Oh, do you see that bubble over there? Yeah, over there. Oh, look at The yeast is activating. Science. All right. So this is a really, really important part of the cook because this is where we decide, do we want to make beer or do we want to make bagels? And we want to make bagels. All right, so like I said, I decided that we're making bagels, obviously. So here we go. Throw in like about a tablespoon brown sugar. I like brown sugar, so I guess that was like closer to a tablespoon. It's supposed to be like closer to a half, I guess, for this proportions. Two cups. Oh, remember, I don't have bread flour. I just got regular flour, so get that in there. Wow, this is so hard to film and do this all at the same time. Wow, how do people do that? All right. Oh, I got to put salt in there, too. Hang on. I had to go get my salt bowl. Only fitting that it's in my, my bowl from Jerusalem. A little bit of salt. All right. Now we're going to lock that up. Go on low for a little bit. We're going to get that together. We'll check back in. Look at that beaut. All right, so we're going to stop it. And we're going to start kneading it by hand because this thing is stiff. So we're going to flour our surface. All right, this is where you get to be up close and personal with me and the dough. We're kneading it by hand oh, on the floured surface. How I like to knead, I like to go and get it and then put my palm on my that thing in it. Look at these cooking lessons by Dave. Palm. Uh. All right, I'm going to do this for a long time. I'll check in when I'm done. I've changed up my method a little bit, just kind of passing back and forth between the palms. Uh, uh, uh. Look at this. Look at this dough. It's looking real good. We're almost there. Whew. Got my workout in. And look at it. Beautiful. You can just, you feel like you can hear how soft it is. All right, we're going to let this rise for like an hour and a half. So we're going to see what happens and. I don't know if this is a good time to tell you or not, but I don't know if I've ever actually made bagels before. So this this is a really big moment of the cook. We'll see what happens in an hour and a half. Make sure you spray your bowl so it doesn't stick. Uh, we're going to cover that up and uh, I'm going to throw it in the oven because the oven's a nice warm place over there. But don't turn it on. All right. So it seems like it's been like an hour and a half for you, though. It's just been one click. For me, I've showered and changed into my tiger suit. So here's the dough, it's risen. You're gonna punch it down. Oh, oh, look at it deflate. All right, so there they are, basically four even sized balls. I'm about to shape these things. All right, so I got this ball. I'm gonna just punch it. Oh, look at that. And then we're gonna just shape it into a uh, Bagel. They're pretty small bagels, but I think maybe they'll rise. I honestly have no idea. So we'll see what happens, but they're going to be fun. Mm, four perfect bagels. Those ones look smoother than those ones. All right, so this right here, which you can't really see through the bellowing. Oh, there it is. This is simmering water and a little bit of molasses to give it a nice little crisp. And we're gonna boil the bagels in here for a minute on each side. Here we go. Hey dude, how you doing? Oh, you know, just, you know, taking a little hot tub before we're gonna go run the oven. Oh, you're taking a sauna too? Ah, oh, I thought I was just gonna take a steam room, but I guess we're all going to the hot tub together. Jumping Jehoshaphat's, they are done, and look at, they have risen. So they rose, pretty cool stuff. This has been a great experience so far. All right, but I never told you what flavor 
flavor. We're gonna do all these bagels. We got four, so we're gonna do two, two. Cheddar. And this, Hannah's Secret Everything Seasoning. Can't tell you what's in it, because I don't know what she put in it, but it looks like it's gonna be everything bagel seasoning. All right, I didn't even tell y'all. You gotta get your egg wash ready, because you gotta egg wash these bagels to get them nice and delicious. Mm. Okay, I'll meet you later. Put cheese on the ugly one. Let's go a little marks. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I'm holding bird food in my hand, but it's everything bagel seasoning. I don't know. This could be a horrible displacement of it. Oh, well, whatever. We'll see what happens. This is a great looking tray of bagels right here. So I got the oven at 425. It already said it was done being preheated, so I'm going in. We're gonna rotate in 12 minutes. Well. Overall, I'd say that this was a pretty big success. But I guess we'll find out in like 20 minutes when I eat them because they're way too hot to eat right now. Psych, you thought I was gonna wait 20 minutes? No way, look at this. All right, I hope you made it all the way through this video, because if you didn't, you're a really good friend. You gotta take a bite of it. Mm. That's definitely a cheddar bagel. Good stuff.